good, everyone? Welcome back to the Parks Plays New Replicant episode 34. Let's go ahead and dive right in. What's going on? I haven't seen you two come into Seafront in, well, ever, I guess. Sorry for the surprise. Kaine said she sensed something strange in the area. Strange how? Like a shade? Maybe. I'm not sure. There's some kind of sound or something coming from up ahead. What an incredibly specific piece of information the hussy has graced us with. <laughs> what is it, Kai? Nothing. Let's get moving. Is it haunted? I bet it's haunted. It now. We're gonna need to figure out some way to get inside that thing. This ship is in a state of want and decay. Surely we can find a hole or some such if we put our minds. These planks seem to be covering a rather large hole. We can probably get in if we move them out of the way. I'm worried about whatever it is Kaine is sensing. We should make sure we're really prepared before going inside. Okay, no. Let's make sure we're ready first. Yeah, okay, that, that works. Hey, you're probably gonna die a lot in this upcoming area. Love it. This ship is in poor condition indeed. Do try not to thrash about and bring its timbers down around us, hussy. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> you sure you're alright, Kaine? You really shouldn't push yourself. Hey, I've got an idea. How about you and me search outside and get some nice fresh air in the process? Sure. Let's do that. Sounds good. Take care of Kaine for us, Emil. Emil is on the case. Come on, Kaine. Let's get the lead out. I wonder if they're gonna come back this later. This place is pretty gloomy. I'm having a hard time imagining any townsfolk hanging around here. Well, as we've no other leads, let the search begin. Outside light is in short supply. I ask you, how are we to do any searching if we cannot see a blasted thing? Look there, on the floor. And there's still some oil in it. Nice. Okay, that's scary. Wait, did you see that girl just now? I did indeed. How on earth did she manage to get behind us? Perhaps she is the runaway we heard tell of at the post office. Best track her down and take her back to town with us. There's no one here. Weird. It's like we just saw a ghost. Oh, what foolishness. <laughs> I am certain this room merely contains a secret passageway or the like. A ghost getting scared of ghosts. A ghost getting... No, a book getting scared of ghosts. What is with this ship anyway? There may be clues somewhere that tell of how it ran aground. Step. It looks really dark up ahead. Then perhaps we ought to make use of that lantern we just found, hmm? What is that? What's this? An apple. It's a bit bruised, but it's not super old or anything. I wager it was dropped by that fruit-loving ferryman with the red bag. Perhaps he absconded to this ship to wait out the storm after yet another spirited debate with his wife. Ah, oh, goodness. What a troublesome couple. Let's keep moving. Sounds good. Oh, oh, what was that sound just now? Sounds like it came from the floor above us. Gonna go. 
I'm just waiting for something to be revealed underneath the staircase. This barrel's been knocked over, and there's flour everywhere. Surely it was toppled by the girl we saw at the entrance? Wait. Cast your eyes to the floor, lad. The missing child left white tracks in her passing. Should we follow them, I expect we will find our way to her. It's in here. Man, this book's got some serious heft to it. I wonder what it's for. It would seem to be this ship's logbook. Let us avail ourselves of a gander. Hmm. Records of the routes it traveled, the weather it encountered, and the places it made port. All in a painstaking level of detail. I would expect no less for a vessel of this size. Until the day the records suddenly cease. What the hell happened on this ship? Man. I'm just waiting for the ghost pirate from uh, SpongeBob to pop out. Yarrr, he mateys! <laughs> That's how it sounds. Over here. Did you see that light on the other side of the shelves? A shame we cannot investigate further with these blasted things in our way. I would like a word with the interior designer who thought to put them here. Hang on. I think I can move these. Hey, there's a notebook on this desk. Oh, wow, this thing is crammed full of information. A record of the cargo they carried, no doubt. Let me see. By my pages, this ship was used by slavers. How simply atrocious. Wait, you're telling me they sold people? And made out quite handsomely from the transactions, it would seem. How could they do something like that? I do not know, nor do I care to ponder it. Let it suffice to say there are monsters who trade coin things. for misery in all corners of this accursed world. There's a breeze coming through these shelves. That white vase is rather conspicuous. Try giving it a nudge. A hidden room. How delightful. Perfect. Thousand gold. These chests are pretty huge. And what do they contain? Treasure, perhaps? I wish. Looks like a bunch of iron tools. Those are no mere tools, lad. They are instruments of torture. Uh, dude, shackles. I shudder to think what evil transpired in this room. Yeah, let's see it. Okay, got a key. Don't seem to be any shades around, at least. Fortunate for us. Now let no more time be wasted in our search for the townsfolk. Alright. Making our way. The white tracks end here. Wait, I hear something. This figure. <laughs> Whatever that sound was, it stopped. I swear, it sounded like a girl. Yeah, this scared. is a voice pipe. A contraption by which one's voice can travel to a faraway location. Which means the girl is in whatever room this pipe connects to. Hold a moment. I spy a chart of the ship's layout on the wall. <sighs> yes, this pipe connects to a cabin in the ship's stern. Onward and, uh, inward, I guess. That's creepy. You imagine you just this wake little up to lantern that? has brought us quite far, hasn't it? Yeah, and the light it gives off makes me feel. It seems this door. The kit. Heavens, look at the size of this saucepan. This must have been where they prepared meals for the crew. Hmm? There's a note stuck to the counter. Extra rice. Hold the peppers. Looks like the crew had some say over how they ate. <laughs> 
To be picky about one's food while at sea is a luxury indeed. Thinking back on it, the cuisine we were served during our visit to the bickering couple's home was quite particular in its choice of ingredients, was it not? Tell me about it. I feel like I've sampled every single recipe in the Apple Fanatics cookbook. Once we track down the ferryman, we should invite them to a meal at our place. A fine idea, lad. Must press on. Oh, damn! The hell is this smell? Perhaps it is wafting from further inside. Another apple. Just how many apples does that quibbling husband keep on his person while he's out and about? Let's keep searching. And just carrying a couple of apples. Uh, Vice? I think the floor is. Speak to me, lad. Are you hurt? Uh, been better, but I'll live. I can't see a thing down here. And what is that terrible stench? I suspect we may have fallen into the ship's hold. The lantern got away from me during the fall. We'd better look for it. Okay. Can I move? Hmm? Is that? Vice, that's it! We found the lantern. About time. Might I suggest you cease the celebratory fanfare and light the blasted thing already? Let's see it. Nice. Oh dear. Look at the bodies. They are all people from town. And, I fear, the missing ferryman. Oh, no. Dude. Uh, anytime they give you anything lighthearted, they do something like this. This can't be real. Why? Why did he... Why did everyone have to... God damn it! Pull yourself together, lad. Remember the presence Kaine sensed? The culprit who murdered these poor folk likely awaits us further within. I won't let them get away with this. <laughs> That's enough, lad. Avert your eyes. God, dude. Yeah. Hey there, you every, two! Every time I get relaxed. Hey. I didn't know you guys came back inside. Did we ever? Found a nice hole in the wall to slide through. But then, we heard a bunch of noise coming from that super dark floor downstairs. You sure had us worried. Yeah, sorry about that. You feeling better, Kaine? A little, yeah. Sorry for the trouble. Good. That's... Uh, that's good. Jeez, you seem really down in the dumps. Did something happen? <sighs> Tell me, Kaine, that presence you sensed. It's on the floor above us. I feared as much. It seems we've little choice but to press onward. God, dude. There's a bunch of crumpled up paper here. Letters, maybe? They all seem to have the same words written upon them, but the penmanship is so poor I cannot make heads nor tails of it. Dude, the dissonant chords in the music really bring it. Alright, time to give him what the ferryman wants. I like it. Okay, it's brutal. Let's see what we got. This would be the final room, yes? The culprit who murdered the townspeople may be behind this very door. Let us proceed with utmost caution. That asking makes it spooky, too. Are you sure you want to do this? You don't know what's behind that door. You might get your cheeks clapped. It's that girl we saw when we first entered the ship. Old lad. This is a lone child sitting inside a hulking ship littered with corpses. Something is clearly amiss.
There. Could this girl be the presence you sensed, Kaine? Oh, hey, it's you. Been a while. Wait, you're the postman. What are you doing here? Oh, I've been coming here a lot lately. I think this girl was on the ship when it drifted in. I've been keeping an eye on her until she's well enough to leave. Hey, so this is kind of awkward, but... The girl is, you know, bleeding? I brought a bunch of bandages with me, but, uh... Well, how exactly does one deal with a woman's time of the month? So, sorry, sorry. Clearly crossed a line there. Forget I said anything. Do that postman. Stay the hell away from her. She isn't. Oh, oh boys, bro. <laughs> We'll figure something out. You just find a way to get the hell out of here. The two of them will be fine, but you and I must withdraw. Let's go. The ship is collapsing. We must leave at once. Very much aware of that. Thanks. Let's go. I like how it works. The ships! See if they're in the way. Alright, we're doing a strength job. Looks like we can get out through that hole up there. Nice. Glad you two made it out in one piece. Yeah, we're good. But that poor postman is still trapped inside. We'd better go help him out. No shade would dare pursue us into sunlight such as this. We should use the opportunity to ready ourselves. Oh, here it comes. <laughs> What on earth? He yeah, opens his mouth and it's a little girl. No way. That's. I hate those designs. One like the humans, the tongue. Is she being hurt by the sun? That is not precisely the case. It most certainly is being burned by the sunlight. However, yeah, that's a strong hit. Its regenerative abilities far outpace whatever damage the light is able to inflict. This light, something is coming. Get out of the way at once. I can't believe that little girl was actually this thing. This monstrosity is unlike anything we've faced before. Remain vigilant! Yeah, they can pop off it. Oh crap. Let's see what happens. 
got the attack that it's actually not too bad. Killed by it, yep. Ooh, that's tough. Okay, so don't get hit by the arms. Left, right? Why isn't this shade being hurt by the sun? That is not precisely the case. It most certainly is being burned. Oh, that again. By the sunlight. However, its regenerative abilities far outpace whatever damage the light is able to inflict. Something is coming. Get out of the way at once. I can't believe that little girl was actually this thing. This monstrosity is unlike anything we've faced before. Remain vigilant. On them. Uh, knock it off, knock it off, knock it off. Don't stop now. Focus on the next one. This thing is gonna pay for what it did to those people. The town will be in grave danger should we leave this creature be. We must end it. Here and now.
attack patterns aren't bad once you pick it up. Like, you know, just don't sit under the arm and then, like, get all of as much damage as you can pop. Pop bomb, yeah. Did we get it? Not all of it. Oh, get off the ship. God damn. Oh hell. That thing's huge. Not done yet. How are you facing? Supposed to face that. Okay. To think it could recover from such a grievous wound. Ordinary attacks aren't gonna do shit against this thing. Here it comes. Dodge. Ah, oh, come on, bro. Gotta be one of them, right? As far as these fragments go. Bro. That thing ain't normal, so stay smart enough. Unless you want to get dead. This thing will destroy the town if we don't stop it. Still? Flying our way is increasing. Yeah, I can okay. see that. Damn it. My word, if this continues. Hey, over here. Let's see what it does. This guy's important to you, isn't he? Bad 
badass. That's so cool. Oh, no way, it's good genic. Son of a... Is this thing immortal? How can it withstand such an onslaught? I'm... I'm really scared, guys! We will be in grave danger if it unleashes that attack. We must stop it! part of the game. I think we're in trouble. My body won't... Damn it! Fuck! Ah, oh, god damn it! doing you're gonna get yourself killed dude this is how I imagine sirens to be Focus on the source of its magic. Aim for the head. <laughs> Summoning the last of your magic, you can now use LB. We can never be together! You disgust me! Dude, this game is an emotional roller coaster. Like, literally, homie just died after like you built this relationship and it's kind of like all fun and stuff. When that happens. Martial arts, MP recovery. Thanks. You really saved our bacon. You've all done so much for me. I don't have the words to express how sorry I am. We all knew townspeople were out there being eaten by a shade, but I never imagined I was taking care of it this entire time. The fault lies with that foul creature alone, Postman. Not yourself. I... I hope I can believe that someday. All right, well, we'd better get going. There's someone else we need to break this news to. Fair enough. I hope to see you out there on the old letter trail again soon. Wait, so is Fast Trap disabled then? 
Hey, did you find my husband? Uh, yeah. The thing is... Wait, why are you hesitating? Is he alright? Please tell me he's alright. Come on, say something already. Your husband was killed by a shade. I'm sorry. We tracked him down, but it was already too late. No, it can't be true. That big idiot, always carrying his bag around, thinking about me all the time. Oh god, this can't be happening. <laughs> <laughs> It saddens this old tome to think we'll never hear those two at each other's throats again. If only I'd gotten to him sooner. Damn it. Do not let it burden you so, lad. You did the best you were able. God, what a melancholy thing. Wait, so where does that put me? I go for this. I guess no more fast travel. Okay, whatever. I guess we'll call it a day here. If you enjoyed this content, make sure to like, comment, subscribe down below. But we'll catch you tomorrow. Anyway, have a good one. See ya.